Okay, so this will more than likely get a lot of flack for dissing of my boy Namora, but I feel like this should be addressed. Whether this is an important topic to you or not is your choice, but I feel as a big fan of such games like Final Fantasy VII, XV, and Kingdom Hearts, that this topic is very important to the success of our beloved franchises. But that's just me. I expect people to criticize me, and I totally welcome it. Actually, no. I encourage it. It honestly will only make me a stronger writer in the long run. I just want to say that I'm not very good with words or putting out my thoughts clearly on the table in a consistent way, so bear with me. But this is why I think Tetsuya Namura shouldn't be a director in the face of Square Enix as a whole. So I'm just going to briefly go over his background because I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this already know his story. Plus. You know, you could always look it up and read it on Wikipedia or something like that. Anyways, my boy, Tetsuya Namura, got hired as a debugger at Square back in the 90s. You know, the good old 90s. He eventually went on to be a monster designer for Final Fantasy V, and then later became a respected character designer as he impressed his peers. More specifically, Sakaguchi, the father of Final Fantasy. And at this point, he basically got stuck with the role of character designer, but also had some creative freedom with giving out ideas such as the death of Aerith in Final Fantasy VII. And I'm sure a lot of old older fanboys want him dead because of it. But yeah, once my boy convinced the Disney peeps about the concept of a collaboration game between Square and their characters would be a good idea, he then got the position as director of the good old convoluted game franchise that we all love called Kingdom Hearts. After the massive success of Kingdom Hearts, and the franchise in general, Tetsuya Nomura's name was pretty much infamous within the video game industry. Everyone thought of him as a freaking genius at this point, and with each game that he was involved in, Square wanted to make sure his name was in the forefront of it all. I mean, take a look for yourself. If you notice, even though he's just a character designer for these games, his name is literally plastered as though he was a big influencer in the creation of the games. Hell, in the PSP game The Third Birthday, his name is literally credited after the director of the game, Hajime Tabata. Normally it would be the program director or the other lead game directors. This is obviously a big sign of Square trying to push Tetsuya Nomura as the face of Square after Sakaguchi left in 2004. And this is my problem with this move by Square. The problem why such a hyped up franchise like Final Fantasy XV flopped and why the whole story of Kingdom Hearts is convoluted. Come on, I mean, Tetsuya Nomura is an incompetent director. And of course everyone knows this. Yet, Square is so desperate to use his name to get consumers fighting for anything Tetsuya Nomura. I don't blame them, I mean, after losing the father of Final Fantasy, they need another face to take his place. And my boy Nomura is the new popular dude in the industries, especially after the massive success of Kingdom Hearts. It's painful though. They lost a great director recently. I'm talking about my other boy, Hajime Tabata. He had great potential, but was always overshadowed by Nomura. It just sucks that a game like Final Fantasy XV had the potential of reviving the Final Fantasy franchise, only to literally be punched back into the ground. Uh, Square has a problem, and they refuse to face the fact that Nomura is a horrible director, and because of this, their company as a whole is suffering, as well as us, the people who grew up with these franchises. I just hate seeing potential go to waste and not being able to experience great stories that we could immerse ourselves in. My biggest fear is that after waiting over 10 years for Kingdom Hearts 3, it's going to end up just like Final Fantasy XV. At that point, Square's demise is inevitable. Tetsuya Nomura is a great character designer, but by no means a good director. I believe it would be in Square's best interest to keep him as an art director or something. Because Nomura seems like the kind of person who likes drawing cool shit. A little bit like Taite Kudo, the creator of Bleach. And just like Bleach, Kingdom Hearts and anything Tetsuya Nomura 
will fail to give us great stories in the coming days at this rate. I just hope that Square will eventually give the role of director to someone else for the Final Fantasy games and keep Nomura as, like, an art director or designer. But all we can do is wait and see, unfortunately. If you guys are against the idea of having Nomura stand down as director of all Square Enix's future games, by all means, I would like to hear your opinions in the comment section below. If you guys like this kind of content, then please leave a like and subscribe. And a big thanks to my Patreon supporters. Honestly, it really means a lot to me. And as always, thanks for watching.